Let's jump into talking a little simplex, shall we? Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this SureTech SR112 simplex repeater. So you may be saying, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, what do you want a simplex repeater for in this day and age? Well, because it's cool and I think it can be handy. So uh, I, again, as you typically know, if you've been following me for a while, um, in my unboxings, I more so ramble about why I purchased the product, what I think of the product and what I'm going to do with it more so than the product. So let's jump into it with this guy. So I just got this in. I purchased this on Amazon. It was like 50 some bucks. So super price. Can't complain about it. And the idea of having a simplex repeater is rather interesting. So for those that may not uh, know what a simplex repeater is or be new to amateur radio, etc., a simplex repeater, if I get this out of the box, which this is the unit here, uh, receives a signal from a radio, records it digitally, and then once it's done recording, in other words, you release your push to talk on the other side, it retransmits it on the same frequency. That's why it's simplex. It uses one frequency. And so it's rather unique in the fact that you hear what you said. Now the idea is you place this in a centralized location and you transmit from this side and Bob's over here. So your signal is not strong enough to make it to Bob, but the signal from this Shure uh, 112, SR112 is strong enough to make it to Bob. So it bridges the gap between yourself and Bob or Fred and Susie or whatever combination you want to come up with. So it makes it great for emergency situations. Um, it makes it great for family outings or just other type of events where you want to have communication. Uh, however, you want it simple and dirty. So uh, kind of long story short, what it does is comes with a USB power cable, which is great because you can power it from a larger USB power bank, which I really like. And then it also comes with a Kenwood style cable, which works really well for the Baofeng. So as you see, I've now connected this up to my Baofeng uh, F8 HP, my eight watt uh, handheld. And this was one of the second reasons I purchased this particular Baofeng is to be used as a simplex repeater. So the piece is now when this receives a signal, it'll digitally record it on the uh, SR112 when the push to talk is released on the transmitting radio it will activate the push to talk on here and retransmit whatever was said i believe it has up to a 45 second to one minute storage on this it also has i believe three different mailbox options so you can set up frequencies where people can leave a message for you on this sort of like an old style telephone answering machine i find this very unique but however one of the pieces that really interested me about this is the ability to use this as a solo test station so one of the things that uh, I seen one other gentleman and I'll put his his um, you know call down below he's got a, uh, a channel also and I'll list that I don't have it off my uh, fingertips right now however he used this to test another duplex repeater system and I thought hey that's pretty cool because if I want to go test something you know instead of trying to roust up another amateur to go out in the field and help me test I can use this guy to test so it can serve multiple purposes as a test bed for the things I want to develop because that's one of the focuses of this channel. I want to demonstrate how we can take off the shelf technology, kind of modify it and develop something new or interesting for the hobby. And this will provide me an excellent, excellent tool to do that. Plus provide me those other benefits of taking it out in the field and having a good time with, you know, having a simplex repeater. I do live on a few acres and one of the things eventually I want to do is put up a tower maybe with a repeater and several other interesting things, but we'll talk about in the future. I'm getting ahead of myself. So hopefully I've explained this a little bit of how this works. I will probably do another video getting into this in a little bit more detail demonstrating it. But again, I want to do some ramblings. The other piece I want to point out is the documentation it comes with is rather interesting because there's a lot of control features for this guy through the DTMF tones, etc. Um, and so you can go through and send it different tones to activate or deactivate certain functions of it. So I really liked that. 
So anyways, um, you know, for roughly, I don't know what I got, about 54 here, 68 here, you know, for a little over 100 bucks, I've got a neat simplex repeater setup that I can take somewhere, use for testing, uh, use for other functions, and it's pretty cool. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. You've understood a little bit of my logic of why I purchased this guy, and I'll have links to all this down below if you're interested in getting it for yourself. If you have any questions, or hey, better yet, if you have suggestions, hit me up down below. I'm a new operator, love to hear different things. I've got a long, long history of uh, electronics and uh, 30, yeah, 30 some years ago, I used to be a microwave engineer, I used to work in radio. Sort of work in radio a little bit today, but more on the business side, not the electronic side. But uh, always interested in learning something new because you can teach an old dog new tricks. Cheers and catch you in the next video. Hey, don't forget to subscribe.